Okay, I want to show you a cool feature that Google Slides has. And I know as second graders, this might be a little bit tricky for the beginning of the year, but you can train them. If they have an adult with them, they can do this, or this could be really useful for if you're having a parent meeting, back to school meeting, uh, meet the teacher, um, and so forth. Um, so what you're gonna do, uh, this is how you get audience um, Q&A while you're doing a slideshow, okay? So what you're gonna do is when you're presenting, and so if you're sharing your screen on Google Meet or Zoom or in person, you're gonna go up here to the present button and you're going to click the little arrow and click presenter view. Okay, and then it will open two windows. So it's gonna open this little presenter view and then it also has the main presentation. And so then what you're gonna do here is go on your little presenter view and you're going to click on audience tools and then you're going to um, click a you're going to click to start um so i had done it earlier so that's why i said continue but basically right here it means on means you're accepting questions um and you can choose if you want it to be from just people in your g suite or anyone who has this link okay and so on the presentation it's going to have a website right up here and what will what your students and parents will do is they're going to just type this website into their phone, their iPad, their computer, and then when they get to that website, and I'll show you what it looks like, it's just going to look like this when they get to it, and it looks the same on your phone. And basically what they can do is they can type in a response right here. Okay, so if I was doing this with my students for morning meeting, they all want to share. They all want to share. And then it, we don't have time always to listen to 25 students tell us out loud one by one. So one thing you can do, and then they can also practice their typing, practice their sentence creation, composition, um, is have them go to this link and answer your question. Even though it says here, ask a question you can have them answer this question or if you're doing like a math um, problem up here you could have them type the answer or type an equation or anything like that they don't just have to do questions on here okay so if I type um, the question was your favorite thing about school um, and so I type the your student or your parents type it and you can have them ask anonymously. They can be anonymous when they submit it or just as their name. So I usually have, you know, just leave it as their name and they click submit as easy as that. And they can see their um, questions right there. And then what you can do is right here, you can see the questions. And then if it's one that you want to share to everybody, you click present and then you can see the response right there. So if you wanted to share, you know, if you had a question of write a number sentence that goes with this story or something, you could share out their responses. And it shows who it was if they didn't click anonymous. Um, or if you're doing like a, um, you can just click hide to go back. If you're doing like a meet the teacher and people are asking questions on here and then you wanna talk about it, you can click present over here and then everyone can see the question and then you can um, talk about it and even if you didn't have it in your original slideshow. So that's how it works, um, the Q&A. And as long as you're leaving this, even if, at, even if you're going through the slides, as long as you are leaving this accepting questions on and you're presenting, it will have this um, link up at the top and it, people can still type in their responses. Students can still type in on their phones or tablets or computers. And when you turn off, that will that link will go away and they aren't able to type in anymore. Um, so if we said tried to type in something, it would say, sorry, not able to do that right now. So what you can do then when you're done, 
you're done presenting, you're done with this meeting, and you want to see um, what students said. You want to keep track of it, or you want to go back and look through the questions. You can go to your tools, and then go to Q&A history, and then you can see here, here's the Q&A we just did, and you can see the responses right there. So if you want to look at them later, it saves them automatically for you. So that's how Q&A works. Um, you can see if it's helpful to you, try it out. And yeah, I think it's kind of a fun, fun tool to get some interaction.